Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to show you guys the idea of using an adjustment clip inside of DaVinci Resolve 16 so that you can apply a consistent visual effect across multiple clips in your timeline at the same time. And in addition to that, by using an adjustment clip, you can easily have the effect you want to apply to your other clips only occur for part of the original clip's duration. So for instance, we have two clips right here, a shot of a forest and a shot of a beach. One easy effect that we could apply to both clips at the same time would be to do a zoom in effect. So if we go over to the effects library and you go down to effects, you can find adjustment clip there. So with the adjustment clip, you simply drop it into your timeline above the video tracks that you want to affect. That's important because any video tracks above it will not be affected. So if you have video track one and two and you want both of those to be affected by this adjustment clip, then make sure you position your adjustment clip above that. But aside from that, you can simply position it in the timeline, adjust the length and duration of it. And now if we hover over the part of the timeline that actually contains that adjustment clip and we start making changes, you'll see that it immediately applies whatever changes we make to the adjustment clip to the layers underneath. So if I boost the zoom up here and the transform, you can see that although I'm affecting the zoom on the adjustment clip, that zoom in effect gets applied to whatever's underneath it. Likewise, if we scroll over here to where the cut occurs and we're back at the beach scene, you can see that the zoom in has occurred there as well. Now, because the adjustment clip only modifies the underlying clips, we can adjust the position or duration of this adjustment clip as long as we need it to be without worrying about affecting anything underneath it. So the original clip will stay intact, but we can easily make adjustments or modifications to it. Now, worth mentioning that because it's still a clip in the timeline, we can animate it just like any other clip. So if I wanted the zoom in to occur over time, I could go to the start of this adjustment clip, uh, set a keyframe, I find where I want that zoom in effect to end and set the keyframe there. And now I can go back to the first frame here and I can adjust that zoom in. So I could bring that down to 1.0, which is probably what we'd want to start with. So now that zoom in can actually occur over time. And now if we go back in the timeline and play it, we can see that that zoom in animation occurs without actually changing anything on the base clip. Now the adjustment clip will be really handy when you have many layers of video that are overlaid on top of each other because you can decide what you want the adjustment clip to apply to and what you don't want it to apply to. So for instance, if I go ahead and pull a title in, so I'll just, so I'll just drop this 3D title in a box onto the timeline, I'll, I'll put it in video track 3, and by scrubbing the timeline we can see that the video effect is able to be there even though there's an adjustment clip without any zoom in. But if I want to include the 3D title and that zoom in effect, all I need to do is position this adjustment clip on top of it. So now in the same part of the timeline, the adjustment clip is applying to two separate other video clips. So this can be a time saver if you have many video tracks layered on top of each other, or if you need an effect to carry on for a longer period of time, such as across two cuts in a timeline, but without having to manually apply the clip to each one individually. So to show one more cool thing you can do with adjustment clips, if you want a property to animate between two clips and when you make that jump cut to the secondary clip, you want it to be animated at the same values as the first clip, an adjustment clip can be really useful for that. So for instance, if I go towards the end of this first clip and I keyframe the rotation angle on the adjustment clip layer, and now I go over here to the secondary clip, but still making changes on the adjustment clip, then I can set this to something like uh, 720 degrees. And now by adjusting only one adjustment clip, I'm able to have a video transition that kind of goes between two clips at the same time and will smoothly transition. So let's take a look at that in the timeline. So we have the rotation there and the second it jumps to the second clip, it's still rotating and it's rotating at exactly the same angle that it was before it made the transition. So as an end result, it looks smooth. So just to kind of make this look a little bit nicer, I'll get rid of the black edges by zooming in a bit more. So I'll go ahead and set a keyframe right before the rotation for the zoom. And then at the frame when the zoom starts, I'll set a new keyframe by changing the value to 2 there. And now it should do the rotation while it's zoomed in. And that looks quite a bit better, but it looks like we'll need a manual adjustment on the bottom layer, simply because it was not the full frame size of the top clip. So if I boost that up on the force clip directly, I can uh, make that adjustment specifically for that clip. 
So that gives us this adjustment clip rotation effect that is just one of many examples of what you could do with an adjustment clip. So one last thing we can do to make this adjustment clip effect a little bit more interesting is to take the ease curve and is to set an ease curve on the rotation. So if I open up the ease curves editor by clicking on that button right there on the adjustment clip layer, I can take this first point here and click on the second ease curve from the top. It's the one in, it's the one that kind of looks like two curves coming in from the side and then a center point. If you click that, it will add a ease to the beginning of the effect and the end of the effect, which will mean that it will start and end slower than it occurs in the middle, uh, meaning that it kind of accelerates into the full rotation. So now if we play it back, it'll look like this, which is overall a lot better. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video on adjustment clips in DaVinci Resolve 16. I hope this video was helpful for you guys out there. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.